Hello, this is Basic Music Theory Part 6b, an introduction to how specific intervals shape what we hear. Continuing with the major scale, but now with diatonic half steps. If you recall from 6a, we focused on the structure of a major scale and the structural elements that make it sound the way it does, with special attention first paid to a diatonic whole step, also called a major second. The major scale sounds major because it follows this pattern. And remember, whole steps can also be called major seconds, and half steps can also be called minor seconds. So we have two whole steps and a half step, then three whole steps and a half step. And if you have difficulty remembering this, remember what a piano keyboard looks like. Go with two black keys, then three black keys. So two whole steps, a half step, then three whole steps, and a half step. Remember that we said a major scale has eight notes. The notes are diatonic, meaning alphabetical order. The major scale is made up entirely of whole steps and half steps. And it follows this pattern. Note one, then a whole step, then a whole step, then a half step, then a whole, 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 and a half. And finally, it starts and ends on the same note name. If you remember, the term diatonic whole step represents the relationship between two notes that are two half steps apart. The notes must be diatonic in alphabetical order. And the interval is also called a major second. Notice the capital letter M for major. A diatonic whole step or major second above D would be. So there are our two half steps, which would get us to the note E. Let's look at a diatonic whole step or major second above G flat. One half step, two half step. Now that key can either be a G sharp or an A flat. Which one are we going to choose? Well remember, diatonic is right in the name, so we have to choose the one that is the next letter name. That would be the A flat. Now, if we had started on F sharp, then we would name the next one G sharp. Even though the intervals sound the same, they function differently. So what is a diatonic whole step or major second above E? There's our first half step and our second half step. And again, this one can be named two ways. It could either be G flat or F sharp. Remember the word diatonic, meaning alphabetical order. So the next letter name beyond E would be F sharp. If this further explanation enhances your understanding of diatonic whole steps and major seconds, and you would like to go back and redo the assignment for 6a, just sign in again and add a 2 to the end of your last name. Now that you have a better understanding of major seconds and diatonic whole steps, we're going to look at the other component of a major scale, the diatonic half step, or the minor second. A diatonic half step DHS or minor second M2 is the interval between two diatonic notes that are one half step apart. So what is a diatonic half step above C? We move one half step from the white key it gets us to a black key and that black key could be named either C sharp or D flat. Which one do we choose? Remember the word diatonic so in that case, we started on C, we have to move to the next note in alphabetical order, which would be D flat. Now, if we had chosen the C sharp, what would we call that interval? This goes back to, I think, lesson three. That would be a chromatic half step. C to C sharp is a chromatic half step and C to D flat is a diatonic half step. The pitches sound the same, but they function differently. So what is a diatonic half step above E? 
there's our E. We go up a half step. Notice there's no black key here. Since there's no black key in between the two, the white key to the white key is a half step. So that note would be F. What is a diatonic half step above F sharp? There's our F sharp. We go one half step. And what is that letter name? That would be G. So this is a diatonic half step. It's two notes. The notes must be diatonic. They are one half step apart. And the interval is also called a major second, M2. Notice the lowercase m for minor. So let's compare those two intervals, a diatonic half step and a diatonic whole step. They have some things in common. They both describe the relationship between two notes. In both of them, the notes must be diatonic, meaning the next letter name in the alphabet. But there are some differences. The diatonic half step is one half step apart, and the diatonic whole step is two half steps apart. The diatonic half step is also called a minor second. The diatonic whole step is called a major second. Notice the lowercase m for minor and the uppercase m for major. This is really exciting because this is the beginning of bigger ideas, the foundation upon which all of the rest of this is built. This has been Basic Music Theory, Part 6b, an introduction to how specific intervals shape what we hear, continuing with the major scale, but now with diatonic half-steps. <laughs>